สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n z a Today is Friday, July 22nd. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. A search has been launched for a Nigerian man after lab tests proved he has Thailand's first confirmed case of monkeypox, according to Phuket Deputy Governor b i c h e p a n a p o n g He made the announcement at a media briefing in company with other senior officials, following reports in Thai media that the man had fled the hospital where he was being treated. The superintendent of Phuket Immigration said the man was believed to still be in the Patong Beach area of the island. Disease investigation officials had traced 154 people who were in contact with the man, and they were being tested. So far, none were found to be infected. Dr. Kusa k u k i a t i k u n the chief of the Phuket Public Health Office, said the monkeypox detected in the patient was the African variant A2, which was not severe. The man had sought treatment at a private hospital as an outpatient. He was suspected to be infected with monkeypox, and the hospital sent samples of his blood for lab tests. He was not admitted as his condition was not severe. He was advised to self-quarantine at his condominium room. Around 6 p.m. on July 18, the hospital tried to contact the patient to receive treatment at state-run Bashida Phuket Hospital, but he could not be contacted as he turned off his mobile phone. And they later learned that he left the condo on July 18. The Department of Disease Control on Thursday evening said it was confirmed that the 27-year-old man who had arrived in Phuket from Nigeria had monkeypox. Police Colonel Tanet from Phuket Immigration reassured the public that health officials could control the disease and there was no need for panic. The Department of Disease Control chief said, quote, "Please be aware that the disease is not serious and it can be treated. It's not an airborne disease and is transmitted by skin-to-skin contact." So please strictly follow our sanitary guidance on universal health prevention, including regular hand washing and avoiding close contact in public. Health officials say this string of monkeypox is from West Africa and is a mild strain. The head of Bashira Phuket Hospital stated, quote, "If someone has a fever or a history of fever along with one or more of the symptoms, including sore throat, headache, body aches, back pain, and large lymph nodes, and a rash, blisters, or pustules." They should see a doctor to confirm whether they're infected. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Thailand's cannabis market is expected to grow by about 15% a year between 2023 and 2025, with the market value forecast to reach up to 43 billion baht in 2025, according to the latest study by the University of the Thai Chamber of Commerce, the UTCC. The president of the UTCC, Danavat Bonvichai. Said after its partial decriminalization on June 9th, cannabis undeniably has the potential to become Thailand's new key economic crop, and added that the crop can generate a lot of income for growers and small enterprises, as well as create economic opportunities for Thailand. As of April 2022, cannabis plantations covered about 7,500 rai or 1,200 hectares across Thailand, according to reports. The UTCC estimates Thailand's cannabis market to tally 28.1 billion baht this year, about 9.6 billion of which will come from dried flowers, dried leaves, seeds, and other parts, 14.7 billion baht from extracts, oils, and fabric, and 3.7 billion from medicines, food and beverage, and personal care items. The market is expected to grow to 31.8 billion baht in 2023. 36.5 billion in 2024 and 43 billion baht in 2025, according to the study. Mr. Tanavat said cannabis is projected to generate income for farmers of 800,000 baht to 1.2 million baht per rye per year. This is much higher than rice, which fetches farmers only 10,000 to 15,000 baht per rye per year. However, most of the respondents to the nationwide study. Which took place from July 5th to July 15th and included over 1,200 people, they disagreed with liberalization of cannabis because of concerns about the misuse of marijuana among children and the youth, as well as potential health issues. According to Mr. Tanavat, many people are open to cannabis use for medical or recreational benefits, but they want the weed's use to be supervised by experts. For more, visit the link in the description.
tourism revenue this year may total 1.2 trillion baht below the government's target of 1.5 trillion if there are no additional support or stimulus schemes as the fiscal budget for tourism in 2023 has been heavily cut, according to the tourism and sports minister. Minister Pipa Rachakit Prakan said the proposed stimulus packages comprise a 1 billion baht project called Booster Shot under the supervision of the Tourism Authority of Thailand, the TAT, and a 1 billion baht sports tourism project that aims to promote international and local sporting events around the country. The ministry and private sector proposed a booster shot to the prime minister this week, and the agenda is being reviewed by the National Economic and Social Development Council, determining whether to use the central budget or the emergency loan decree. The TAT is expected to cooperate with airlines to increase capacity to at least 50% of pre-pandemic levels and help tourism operators, such as tour buses that suffered from a lack of Chinese customers, to carry more local tour groups. For the sports tours and projects, the ministry aims to promote three international events, MotoGP 2022 in September, followed by two trail running events in Chiang Mai. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. The investigation is underway into a speedboat that caught fire heading from Chumpon to Kotao. The incident took place on Wednesday afternoon, about 15 kilometers off the Chumpon coast, and injured 20 people, including 18 passengers, the drivers, and a crew member. The vessel initially used two engines. 20 minutes later, the driver turned on the third and there was an explosion, and most passengers jumped into the sea and were slightly injured, with some even suffering burns. Although the fire appears to have been the result of an engine explosion, it remains unclear what caused it. For more, visit the link in the description. Thanks for joining us here on this Friday edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. We'll be back next week. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.